Suspense. Your host is Autolite, maker of the sensational wide gap Autolite resistor spark plug and the dependable Autolite stay full battery. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars and trucks, bumpers and hubcaps, radiator grills and ornaments, bullseye seal beam headlights, ignition systems, spark plugs, batteries, fuel pumps, windshield wipers, instruments and gauges, wire and battery cable, and many more. So remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with auto light. Autolite and its 96,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. First time I saw a picture of this was in the New York Public Library. You, as American architect, find impressive. One look, and I decided this is for me. This is how I spend my GI Bill, my compensation. Uh, how did you find us? No one ever comes here. I found out from an old art professor in Mexico City. Senor Lopez. Send me la propina, my boy. Send me la propina, what's the matter? He wants immediately to go. Oh, oh, very rude, he is. El Diablo. Send me El Diablo. Very ignorant, he is. Very superstitious. Yes. Maldito! What's he saying? He's saying nothing. Que Dios le What's he saying? Nothing, nothing. Vete, 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 go. Vete, go. Listen. I want to know what's behind that wall, but that terrified him so. Nothing behind the wall but the family. Oh, this I must tell you. The family here is only three. The quiet mother, the quiet son, the quiet daughter. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you whispering for? The, the mother, when she is young, she run wild like the wild cat. She married a peasant. Oh, the son is stupid, like the mother. The daughter, the daughter is so beautiful, like the mother, you cry. So? Oh, oh, where's the father? The father is dead. In the village, they say, any man who go through this door, never come out again. Oh, but that is only ignorant Indian superstition. <laughs> it must be, after all, you go in there, don't you? Never. I go only to the daughter's window outside. She is religious. Always she is in her room, praying. Her name is Lola. Well, what's wrong with her mother? Isn't she religious? Oh, like the pig, an animal. I can do nothing for her, so never do I come in. And the son. 
the sun you see. So then, may God bless you. Thank you. This is a quarter. No other economy for me. Oh, the girl say you will eat always in your room. Never speak to the family. <laughs> the hot south wind, here we call the black wind, Miguel say. When the black wind blow, it make his mother sick in the mind. Sierra is su cuarta. When that happens, you stay in your room locked. No se le olvide. If I can make the climb again in two weeks, I will. English? Hey, your mother speak English? Uh, here, I have some wine with me. No. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, don't you like red wine? No, it's good for you. But it's a sangre. Huh? No, no, no. What's the matter? It's not sangre. blood. Sangre. No. Sangre. No. <laughs> You speak English. <laughs> It's gonna be a tough one one. Hey, you got that same cat-like look, like that dame out there in the courtyard. Yeah, that same yellow, rapacious glint. <laughs> well, here's Bud in your eye. <laughs> Doesn't she ever do anything but lie in the sun and, and brush her hair? Huh? Doesn't she ever get tired of that all day, flat on her tortilla? Huh? Mm. Is that your sister? Uh, mm. Is that Lola? Chanting? Lola? Yeah. She's got a sweet, sexy voice. Is she? Well, I've been, been here ten days and I still haven't seen her. I tell you something, Oaf. You know, your old lady's got a very bloodthirsty eye. You too. Hmm? Yeah, you know, every time I go by her, she, uh, she has that eye. I, I, I feel fluttery. She belongs in a soup. Dear Cunningham, my conscience bothers me. I lied to you. I have been to the Hacienda. 
but I never went through the gate because of the shocking things I heard in the village. Dear boy, I fear for you. Should the black wind blow, come away. Don't linger one single night. Into that degenerate family, the blood crimes of centuries have made their black passage. Beware of the sun. Be deadly beware of the mother. Yours in haste. He won a war. Grandma, I'm lonely. <laughs> Wanna make love?
get you under my window? Go away. I want to sleep. Go, vamoose, vamoose. I could have gone. I stayed. You know why? Because I had to see you. For ten days I heard your voice. Oh, your eyes are dark, deep, moist. Well, I'm sick. No doubt the world's wise doctors of the mind would find me very simple. But they aren't here. They haven't seen you. I am when I have. Look at those arms. They've never touched me. Lula, lift up your face. But those lips. Will they ever touch me? Will they? Will they? Then say yes. Say it. Say it, say yes! Lola! 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 Who's, who's hurting you? Lola, what's wrong? What's wrong? Ten telegrams do I have from Senor Lopez. He demands I take you away. I haven't finished my work. But five weeks you have been here. Well, it's a beautiful place, and if I don't photograph it, sketch it, well, then nobody will. And pretty soon it'll all be grass and rubble. If you, I might make you too angry, may I ask one question? Oh, ask anything you like. Lola, she keep you. Who? No, no, no. Do not stay for Lola. I'm not. I tell you, I'm not. I've only seen her once in my life, and that was three weeks ago. Three weeks, you hear? During the black wind? Yes. You locked your door. No, I didn't, but somebody did. And I heard screams. As though somebody were torturing Lola. And then the next day, the wind was gone. Everything was calm, peaceful. And so, you wait all this time to see Lola once more, yes? All right, yes, I do, I admit it. If you see her this evening, you will depart then this evening? Yes, I will. Go and pack all to be ready. Oh. Thank you anyway. But when you see Lola again, remember this. From generation to generation, from mother to daughter flows the blood and the sins of the blood. For heaven's sake, what is this talk? This is old. This is true. This is more than fine young American can change. Listen, tell me. What's in there? Something's there, I know, I feel it, but nobody will tell me what it is. Tell me. They drink the blood. When they are little girls, no. But when they are grown, the women of this family live on the blood. She is a vampire. She lives on blood.
you have any kindness for Lola, go from here today. I supplicate you go now before too late. The priest wrote that for you. You don't even know what you're saying. He told me. I speak little. You go today. You go now. Why did you come to my room? To send me away? To save you. Because I promised the priest that I'd go away if I could see you once again. Yes, you promise. You go now. Go, go. All right. I I'll go. But first you go back to your room. How can I go with your eyes watching? No, 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 I go tomorrow, tomorrow, mañana, mañana, no, I don't care what happens today, no, she loved me, I can tell, she loved me, go on. Lola, 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 can you hear me, I love you, I love you. I'm bleeding. I'm beginning to feel faint. Look, look, it's a deep gash. Can't you get a bandage?
Our suspense story for next week is entitled Surprise, based on a story by Billy Rowe. Also, be sure to listen to Suspense each Thursday night on your radio. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>